Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. So happy to see you guys once again. We're in a new month. We're in November. This year is almost over. I feel like I say that every time because it's just like, all right, we're at the end, we're at the end, we're at the end. Um, I'm super excited for the month of November. Before we get started with this episode, I want to give you guys something special here if you're watching the um, podcast episode. We did just drop our new Grow Through What You Go Through hoodies. They are on the website live right now, but I do want to give you guys a code to save 20% off your order if you do want to purchase. So use the code early bird. I'll also post some pictures here. Just make sure you use that code so that you can save on your order. We have sizes small through 2X. So if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these hoodies, which I definitely suggest you do, go ahead and hit that link in the description bio whatever wherever you're watching wherever you're listening grab that and use that code so that you can be the first one with the grow through what you go through hoodie this week's episode is about gratitude and challenging times and how important that is for your growth how important that is to create a better future for yourself and using saying be grateful for what you have when you feel as though you really don't have anything to be grateful for it's hard like it's easy to say it but it's hard to actually show your gratitude and be grateful one way that i've learned to actually show gratitude in challenging times or challenging situations is to think that think about how worse it can be think about what you've already been through and how you've overcome it because you're here right now so you must have overcome something think about that and be grateful and have gratitude for that. In order to practice gratitude in your difficult situations, you definitely have to have a perspective shift because naturally if something bad's happening or something is difficult for us, of course we're not grateful for that. Of course, like our first thought isn't to, oh, thank goodness this is happening to me. Oh, I'm so happy to, no, of course it's not your first thought. But if you change your perspective on things, you can change your mind quickly, more quickly than you used to. It might take you a couple of days to get over something and you realize like, hey, I actually learned something from that. If you learn to have that perspective shift, it can happen more quickly. First off, don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on creating what you desire, right? Stop thinking about, oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have the big house yet. I don't have the big happy family yet. Focus on how you're going to create it. Use that as motivation to move you. Use that to learn new ways to get what you want. What you want isn't just going to come to you. It has to be worked for. It has to be created. But if you're so focused on what you don't have or what you do have that's not enough, you're keeping yourself stagnant. Also, in your time of trying to shift your perspective on things, beware of your thoughts. Know that your thoughts influence what you say and know that what you say shapes your actions which create your reality it's it all works together it's a big wheel that turns it all works together if you're thinking negative things negative things are going to happen just because that's the energy you're putting out that's the energy that you're receiving that you're giving yourself so of course no you're not going to win if you think you're going to lose because what you're thinking Is going to shape what you say. What you say is going to influence your actions. What you do is going to create your reality. If I think that I'm not going to be successful with my clothing brand, I'm going to say that. And if I say that, I'm going to do things, which is nothing, that creates the reality of me not being successful. But I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I'm, I'm not thinking that and I'm not saying that. I think that I'm going to be a millionaire. I say that I'm going to be a millionaire. I do things to help me create the reality of becoming a millionaire. You know what comes after that? After the action, the reality of me being a millionaire. It all works together. And you have to make sure that when you're shifting your perspective, you're being grateful for where you are. Being grateful for what right now is giving you and what you can take from right now two years later. Every situation has silver lining. And what that means is every situation has something 
that you can take from it, something positive. Even if you don't feel like right now this is positive, it has something positive in it, right? It's going to teach you something. Make sure when, when you're going through difficult situations, think to yourself, where is the positive in this situation? Where is it? It exists. And know as soon as something happens to you or you're going through something, you're not going to notice it then. But focus your mind on figuring out where that silver lining is. Instead of focusing on the bad that's happening, focus on searching for that silver lining because that's what's going to give you hope. That's what's going to keep your mind positive. When difficult situations arise, you want to make sure that you're reflecting on self. Practice your self-reflection, okay? Self-reflection is figuring out what are your thoughts? What are your emotions in the moment? What are you feeling? And why are you feeling this way? I do it all the time. Like, I'm just like, okay, that really pissed me off. And why did that piss me off? <laughs> like, where where is that coming from? You really have to figure that out because if you don't figure it out, it's just going to keep happening. But if you can figure out where it's coming from, why you feel the way you feel, why aren't you able to be positive in this moment? And why are you letting get something get to you? It's just going to keep happening. It's going to keep happening. If you can figure it out, though, you can learn how to walk and control yourself. You can learn how to operate in strategy instead of operating in emotion. If you're operating in emotion, it's you look, your life's going to be all over the place. It's going to be all over the place and you'll never get anywhere because our emotions are always over the place, especially for women. Our emotions are always imbalanced, right? So you can't operate in emotion 24 seven. You just can't and think you're going to get somewhere. So recently, um, every job I work at, I try to see what I can take. What can I get from this place? What can this place teach me? Um, how can it help me in the future? That's what's going on in my mind because I know I'm not going to be here 20, 30, 10 years. Like, I know that. So I'm just thinking to myself, what can I pick up here that I can take back to my, that I can take back to my business, that I can take back, just take with me throughout life, right? So yesterday, a lady was very upset at work and she just cussing at me, right? She just cussing cussing away and <laughs> you know I'm very professional and I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna stay professional at all times there's not really much that you can do to um get me out of character I'm just gonna look at you like you crazy and that's exactly what I did to her I looked at her like she was crazy and answered her questions even though she was cussing at me so then it got to be a little too much I'm like okay let me just go Grab my manager, because at this point, I don't know how long I can stay in character. <laughs> so that was happening, but it really, like, it pissed me off, honestly, because it upset me because I'm being good to you. I'm being good to you. I'm being nice to you. I haven't cursed at you. I haven't talked to you disrespectful, so I don't expect for you to do that to me. That's in my mind. But after discussing the situation with my manager, he just really made me realize that, of course, not everybody is wired the way you are. Not everybody is going to act sane, you know, during situations. But it's up to you to decide what what are you going to do and what are you going to get out of it. And, you know, he was just explaining to me that we're going to work with people that are not like us all the time that are just we're gonna work with irate people but it's a business at the end of the day and you have to be you have to be so how do I put this you have to be so focused on how am I gonna make this situation better for the business rather than how this person is making me feeling right so you know in the moment, I was heated because I'm just like, bro, I had to sit through somebody just cussing at me because in real life, you're not going to cuss at me. That's how I feel. Like, you, what? Like, we're not going to do that, right? But 
I'm listening to what he's saying. I'm taking in what he's saying because I know in my mind, if I'm going to be a true CEO, if I'm going to truly have employees, I'm going to have to know how to work with so many different type of people and how to create a culture that create a culture that's inspiring, encouraging, and not a culture that is made to belittle others, if that makes sense. Like, so I was definitely taking in what he said and just knowing that I have to learn how to not take things personal, especially from customers, just because everybody is going through something. We may not never know what it is, but all we can control is ourselves. All that, all I can can control is me. So that's one thing that I did learn recently where I had to do some self-reflecting because I'm like, why did that make me feel like that? Why, uh, what am I going to do next time this happens? Because it's going to happen again. But I just never encountered, I just never encountered customers like that. And I don't know why I've never encountered it. I just, I give you the energy that I want to receive. I'm not going to cuss at you. I'm not going, I'm not doing it. Not on the professional side, not on the customer side. I'm just not doing it. So I never really received it. But to receive it when I was giving you good, I was just like, I don't know. I'm just going <laughs> to. I took it for a minute, but then I was just like, yeah, I'm not taking it anymore. So self-reflection also makes you a better decision maker. And at the end of the day, the decisions that we make shapes our future. So if I'm reflecting on why this made me feel the way I feel, it helps me next time know what to do. I feel like this time I did the right thing. Honestly, I don't think I did anything wrong. Really, I don't. But the next situation might be different and self-reflecting, figuring out, you know, my thoughts, my emotions in the situation and figuring out real life, what it is when it comes to business, it helps me to make a better decision. If this, um, if this comes up again, there are so many benefits of practicing gratitude and being positive and grateful for all things. No matter if you didn't feel good in that moment. No, I didn't feel good in that moment when somebody was just cussing at me. Like, like no, I did not feel good in that moment. But I'm definitely grateful that it happened because I'm grateful for the lesson that came out of it. I'm grateful that the next time it happens, I'll know how to handle it. On another level, if it happens, I'll know how to handle that. All because it happened this first time, right? Some benefits, some other benefits of gratitude is you just have an overall, it reduces your worry and your stress about the future because that's what we worry about. We worry about the future. What's going to happen tomorrow? Am I going to have enough for tomorrow? Um, what am I going to do about this? What am I going to do about that? But if you're grateful and you practice gratitude in the moment, like, thank you that 25 people consistently watch this podcast I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for all 25 to 28 of y'all that watch this podcast every Monday. I'm not worried about how I'm going to get 1,000 people to watch this podcast every Monday. Of course, I'm working towards that, but I'm not worried about it because I'm sitting in gratitude right now. I'm grateful for what I do have. If I was so focused on how I don't have 1,000 people watching this podcast, I never get there. I'll just be so, I couldn't even be me. I couldn't even be me because I could, I'll be so stressed out. You would see it in my face. You would see it in my demeanor. Like I would be so stressed, but instead I'm walking in gratitude. I'm being grateful for what I do have and nourishing the people that are here on this journey with me and in this community with me. One day our Be Dynamic podcast community will be bigger but right now it's just us and I'm cool with it, right? I'm cool. We move. <laughs> Another benefit of gratitude is that it allows you to transfer that energy to others and inspire them to be grateful. Like I said, you're going to exude this energy of what you're feeling. If I was stressed out, if I was worried, you would know. You would see it. You would feel it in the content I make, in what I say, and how I move. You would know it. You would feel it. I had a friend. Um, well, I have a friend and she, she would like write on notebook paper, just write a whole bunch of things that she's grateful for every day. Just write anything that she could think of, anything that she's grateful for. And it just made me like, wow, 
no matter what's going on in your life, there's always something to be grateful for. There's always something to have gratitude about. We can't live every day in stress. We can't live every day in worry. You will make yourself sick and you will make others just not want to be around you. But if you have that attitude of gratitude, it's going to rub off on others. It's going to help others see that, of course, there there is something to be grateful for today. There is something that I can, there's some positive in this, right? There's something I can be grateful for. Another benefit is that it improves your overall happiness. If you're so focused on positive things, good things, you're going to feel good. Or you're going to overall exude this happiness. It's just like, um, is that a song? Oh, yeah. um, The song Smile. Even though it hurts, I smile. I know God is working, so I smile. Even though I'm in it for a while, I smile. That's gratitude. That's gratefulness. That's faith. That's trust. That it's not going to always be like this. That there's something good in this situation that I must get from it. Right now, don't feel good. Don't look good. But know that there's something good that you're going to get out of it. There's something good that you're supposed to learn. And there's something in it that's supposed to change you in a positive way. If you're always focused on that, of course you're going to be happy. I can have zero dollars. I've had it. I've had zero dollars to my name. Zero dollars to my name and I would still smile. I would still, you would look at me and you would think that I'm okay. You would think that I'm happy, go lucky, nothing's wrong. Because I'm not walking around like I got zero dollars in my bank account. Even though that that was true. You never know. Because I act, I'm not going to... Maybe to my closest friends, they're the ones who know, you know, the truth of how I'm really feeling. But I'm not going to exude that. I'm not going to exude the feelings that I feel from having zero dollars in my bank account. I'm going to have an attitude of gratitude. I'm going to be grateful that although I got zero dollars in my bank account right now, I got a check coming in two days. That's what we're going to be grateful for. I got a job that I can go to every day to make more money. That's what we're going to be grateful for. I have skills that can bring in money at any point. That's what I'm going to be grateful for. That's all it is. It's simple. Shift your mind. Self-reflect. We can't expect good things to happen if we're always focused on the bad. We can't expect good things to come to us if we're always focused on the bad. You have to have an attitude of gratitude. You have to practice gratefulness, even in your challenging times. Life is not always good. It's not always perfect. Good things are not always happening. It's difficult. It's challenging. But you got to figure out how are you going to get out of it? How are you going to let it affect you? What are you going to do differently the next time? That's all I have for y'all in this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. I hope that you guys took that in and are going to try to implement a little gratitude in your life. Be a little more positive and know that on the other side of your challenging situations is something good. I promise that's a promise. Pinky, for sure. <laughs> Don't forget to check out our new Grow Through What You Go Through hoodies that just dropped online. Like I said, make sure you use the code Early Bird if you're watching this video so that I know that you saw it and I know that you're watching. I definitely appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in every time. I see you. I appreciate you. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know if you guys do anything different to practice gratitude in your life. Like this video. Check us out on our social medias. And yeah, that's all I got for y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything you want.